Three years ago, River Circle in Peterborough purchased a full five axis machine from XYZ Machine Tools called the Challenger. Well, that was three years ago, but guess what? They've gone and purchased another one. So let's go and find out why. Jonathan, congratulations on your second purchase. It's very exciting. Thank you. Um, so before we begin, what is it that you specialise in here at River Circle? Well, River Circle has two uh, main thrusts to its business. One is uh, special purpose test and assembly machines, uh, principally for the automotive industry, uh, using robotics, conveyors, press fit systems. And the other really important part of our business is multi-cavity uh, rubber uh, and plastic and hard foam mould tooling. Um, so it's essentially the, the mould tooling side um, that we, in, we use the, the five axes for, uh, but not exclusively. So a few years ago, we were here interviewing you on your yep. first purchase, and now you've got a second purchase, and meaning you, you're very happy with the first machine really, aren't you, yeah, to that, go that, for another? That, that, that's very true. Um, if uh, the eagle-eyed that had watched the first video had said that we'd always admired five axis machines at, at shows from afar, never really thinking that, uh, that they were going to be for us. Um, we were introduced to, the, um, to, to, to this one by XYZ. You know, it was expensive, but it wasn't as expensive as some of the others. Um, and we were persuaded um, and, and, and we went for it. And, and how's that changed your business then? Well, it certainly enabled us, it, well, one, it's taught us just how versatile a five axis machine can be. You don't have to have full five axis work on it all of the time. Um, three axis work just it reduces the setups considerably um, so you know don't think it's just all about full 3d forms in really complex things um, they're very very versatile machines uh, for, for nearly everything that we do it, so if it'll fit on the table generally will machine it that's basically <laughs> what you're saying so anything really in your machine shop you can put through either of these machines as long as it can fit on the table yes yeah I mean it, it, it's as it's 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 as strong the construction of it the gantry construction it's as strong um, as any of the other sort of dedicated three axis machines we have um, with, with its high speed spindle it's etc it, etc et going on you know, to the high speed yes. spindle actually yeah. what you're going to say is as you're a tool maker of course you're you're hitting materials hard aren't you and you've got a real variety of materials that you're cutting yes yeah i mean we, we can go from relatively soft aluminium prototype tools um to, to pre-hardened uh, tool steels uh, and that's where the the, the high speed spindle really comes into its own when we're doing fine detail or engraving and you know, we can use cutters down to 0.2 millimeters, which wow. are absolutely tiny. Yeah. Um, but uh, and have to have that that high-speed spindle to be to be able to make those work for engraving. But when we're doing um, surfacing uh, to, to get that surface finish, that's not quite a polished finish, but we only have to do a little little bit of polishing to it, um, is really essential and and just cuts the time in finishing a tool down, so it makes us more competitive. Now, when I was down at Southern Manufacturing last year, um, I interviewed the guys at XYZ, and these machines, he often said, well, we get, we've got the uh, through spindle coolant as standard, we've got this as standard. So really, we're talking about quite a higher end five axis machine, but at a cost effective price point. So how does that work for yourselves? No, I mean, that, that was really important. Um, if, if you're going to buy a machine, you'd like to know what you're going to spend. You, know, you can have a headline figure uh, of X hundred thousand pounds, and then by the time you add all the nice bits on um, that you actually need, it's gone up quite a lot. Um, this machine was a package. Uh, everything essentially ca came with it. Uh, we are a Heidenheim-based shop, so it was very important um, that, that, that Heidenheim control was available, um, which really influenced our, our, our first decision. Okay, and the service and support, XYZ are renowned for having a very high quality standard of service support for the job shops and, and tool rooms around the country. But looking at a machine of this quality and with such a high specification on it, how have they delivered? No, I mean, that, that was, is always a concern when you buy a new machine, um, particularly as an earlier adopter. Uh, you think, oh, are we going to be, you know, getting teething problems? But it's the way that XYZ have, uh, you know, responded to any early issues that we had. Um, they have a very dedicated uh, service team for these type of machines. Um, we almost know the engineer who's going to come. 
um, and he doesn't have to get out the manual. He knows the machine. So uh, you know, that, that backup and service and response uh, has been excellent. And I think um, I'd also point out the integrity in which they've you know, serviced them. Uh, you know, even beyond warranty periods, if it's down to them, it's down to them. If it's down to us, it's down to us. But th th there is a real honesty and integrity uh, in the way that they, they've dealt with us, which was very important um, you know, I I in, in making the, the second machine decision. So what was the reason to go from one to two machines and why did you go for the same machine? Well, I think if you'd, uh, if you'd asked me three years ago, would we have a second one you know, within a year of the first one, I almost certainly would have said no. <laughs> I, I thought, wow, this is a real showpiece and, and we're not going to be able to afford another one. So when we came to replace um, a, a machine that was uh, uh, you know, end of life, uh, we looked around again at three axis. Um, uh, but when we sat down and looked what we were not going to have by not having another five axis, um, it, it really made the decision for us. And so we, we spent the, the, the additional money to get that additional capability. And, and I'm pleased we did. Now, yeah. a cheeky question. Yeah. Have you pushed this machine to its limits? Oh, I think it's uh, fair to say that we've had uh, jobs that are as big as the table and maybe slightly beyond. Um, yeah, but, but that, uh, you're going to do that with a machine. Um, but it stood up to it. Um, it. It's been capable of doing it. It's enabled us to, to do something we perhaps thought we weren't going to be able to do in the beginning. Um, so, so yes, uh, but uh, and using that, the, the, the full um, high-speed spindle for extended periods, um, you know, is a real bonus. And one last question: You've gone from a machine that you've got here for three years. Now you've had this one almost a year now, I believe. Has it kept its accuracy across that whole period of time? Uh, yes, it has. Yes, bit, we haven't seen any any deterioration um, uh, at all, um, which again is one of the reasons that uh, we were very confident in being able to uh, buy the second one. So overall, would you recommend the XYZ UMC 5-axis machine and why? Oh, we, we certainly would. It, it, it's at a, a, you know, an accessible uh, price point uh, for a, a, a company of our size. Um, it, and it has, it, you know, customers like to see something like this. You know, having a, a five-axis job flashing around, suddenly you go up in the, you're, uh, you know, it, it sets you a little bit apart from competition. You, you go up in their estimation. Oh, I didn't realize you had one of these. Oh, actually, you've got two of these. So are you um, telling me you've won more work off it? We certainly have, yes. Yeah, we, we've, we've been able to do uh, tools that we wouldn't have, we could have done it, but it would have been so many multiple setups that it would have been uneconomical or we would have had to use you know, other processes to do some of the fine detailing. Um, so, so yes, we, we, we've certainly um, had more than one order that we couldn't possibly have done without it. So in a word, would you purchase more? <laughs> given the work, uh, uh, given extra work, without a doubt. <laughs>